In today's demo, we're going to show you an add-on package. Under um, Google Docs, you have the ability to go to the store, the Google Store, and add add-ons. And one of the add-ons that we're adding here today is called Mail Merge. Now, Mail Merge is something that we can purchase in small groups, or we can purchase a site license so that all of our users can add this in. Uh, on a user-by-user -user basis, they would have to get the add-on and add it into their Google under their individual username. However, once they've done that, they have it forever, wherever they go, at home, on their Chromebook, or on any of their devices where they're running Google Docs, they will have this added functionality uh, within the system for them. So really, it's just like doing it in Microsoft Office, but it's completely automated and it's completely done within the browser uh, on a Chromebook or from anywhere with anything. So we basically have a standard form letter here that we've created, and these are going to be the merge fields. So congratulations, the name of the individual, and their street address, their city, their state, and their zip code. That information is going to come out of a spreadsheet, a Google Sheet. That Google Sheet could have been populated by someone manually entering the information, exporting the information to a Google Sheet, or in many cases it could have came from the user actually typing it in themselves into a form or a registration or something like that. So a Google Form feeds the data into a Google Sheet and then the Google Document pulls the data out of the Google Sheet to make the form letter. The form letter can then be made into individual letters one big letter with all of the letters in the in it individually or it can even actually create outbound emails to go out uh, addressed to each person so it can do it's uh it's like the ginsu knife it can slice it can dice it can do all the different things that you want to do with it so here we go i've already installed the add-in so i'm going to start the wizard and the little wizard will pop up over on the right side so it needs data you need data to be able to pull this in here so we've already created a sample so i'm going to open my spreadsheet And here's my Google spreadsheet with the mail merge data in it. And if you just want to see what that looks like, it's just very simple. Full name, street address, city, state, and zip. It's the information that I collected. Again, it could have been manually put in or it could have came from a form. And then all I have to do is basically click these fields and fill them out. So the full name added here. This puts in the form field for that. Select the street address pull it from me. This is all pulling from the spreadsheet. The city. The state. And finally the zip code. Alright, that's it. So now that's automatically saved and I can use that over and over again. So I'm ready to do that. So now the merge is, I can either merge them to emails or merge them to letters. You know, so that's the, the two different things that I can do with this. Right now I'm in a demo, so I'm limited to five records. Uh, if I have an actual product and I don't have any limits. So merge to letters. So I have three records. Do you wish to continue? Yes. The three records will automatically, in this case by default, be merged into one document. So here is the sample mail merge test document merged with the date and time stamp. So these are the results. And voila, there it is. Congratulations, Chad Witcher, with his information. Next letter, congratulations, Kathleen. Next letter, congratulations, Joe Smith. So I could print these out and start stuffing envelopes in the old-fashioned way. Uh, that's basically it. I could have set it up, like I said before, to go to an email. I could have had it create separate documents. That may be something that I would want to do if I was going to, uh, let's say, upload these uh, in Odin or something like that. Then I would probably do individual documents. And then I would probably go in and rename the documents once they get created. They'd probably all get created in a folder with the date and timestamp. I'd go in and rename the documents and then I'd do whatever I need to do with them. But this totally does automate and this is so that we can do some of the functionality that we had in Smartsheets with Mail Merge for due process and other areas. Uh, can be done, but we do need to purchase this add-on. It's a very small cost. I believe for the entire organization it would be like 500 bucks. Uh, for small purchases, it's based upon quantity. The more you buy, the more you save. Uh, I think the average price, full retail quote price, is about $22 a, a seat or named user. Um, so that's it. If there's any questions, let me know.